Hello, everybody. I want to talk about something real quick. Uh, I know it's kind of, I don't know, it's a weird topic. Some people will agree with me here, some people won't. I'm just saying, you know, I want to make sure that I kind of get this point out. Is that, you know, how the all the Threadripper, all the Epic processors, all the stuff AMD is doing with a lot of cores. Don't get me wrong, this is a lot of cores, it's a lot of power. I think they should make multiple sockets for this these processors. Like, make motherboards with multiple sockets. You can get like two or three or four. Ryzen Threadripper processors or Epic processors, and I know the first comment everybody's thinking is, that's a lot of money. And me, am I ever going to probably end up getting that? No, I'm not. I'm too broke. But, if someone, for example, was, I don't know, we'll just say a super famous YouTuber that likes to have his videos done in like 4K rendering in like 0.3 seconds, then that would be a good example. And you know, multiple sockets is actually a lot of power, and if people go through and you know you give them the ability to first of all the benchmark scores I think will be absolutely hilarious because someone's gonna end up getting like 40,000 um, but like you think about it it's just the idea of being in there like right now there's nothing on the market like I looked it up and there's like one motherboard with a dual epic um, socket like two epic sockets and that's it I only found one too and I understand like you know people are like well hey you know why why would I ever need that? And you know, you're right. Obviously, somebody's never gonna need it. Me, I'm never gonna need it. I'm fine with what I have. But like, for example, if someone wanted to go through and be really professional, and you know, maybe go through and get one, that's kind of a weird thing if they don't have any of it even available for them. Like, I mean, the amount of power in that for crying out loud, you're looking at like a freaking two core. I made a video about it, like a um, 28 possible core, like usable cores. Um, or usable processors. I, I like, I mean, the thing about cores and threads is it gets confusing. I just like to say usable um, processors. And uh, like something like 128 for just two slots, so like an epic um, processor. Uh, and then, like, if you were to get four sockets, you'd be ending up with something like 256. Like, for crying out loud, 256 um, processors or usable cores, sorry. And uh, that would. Um, I think uh, sign bench would be a little broken. I, I personally think so because I don't think there'd be a single reason. I mean, just for the whole reason of having it, and I mean, it probably would end up being like twenty thousand dollars to be honest. That's how expensive it would be. But if it's possible, that would be very cool. I think that would be something. And let me know if you think we should have it. Like, I'm not saying you guys are ever going to use it, but I do think it's a good point to point out that no one's actually bothered to make one because someone out there is going to need that much power and I mean I feel like not even any server motherboards even support it so I mean like you go out there and you look at it someone's got to have some type of interest in that and I was just looking at it. I thought it'd be cool for like a, an expensive PC build just to like make like the cool um like the part picker list and see how much it was just to like do it not because I'm <laughs> not because I have twenty thousand dollars sadly um but I uh I think that would be something that you know take into consideration because I don't understand why they don't have one and I think it's a little weird. But let me know down in the description or in the comments what you thought and uh, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for watching. And of course, check out my channel for other kind of stuff like tech stuff related. I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, thank you.